was a matter. Frozen dinner? I never wanted this for you. Mamma mia, what did I ever do to make you treat me so disrespectfully? Do you spend time with your family? You know, a man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a real man. My Nona, God rest her soul. She was the greatest cook. Mwah. As you may have guessed, I have a sentimental weakness for good food. Now, let me make you an offer you can't refuse. Come to family night at DSA where they have spaghetti and gravy, just like Nona used to make. And tell them Sunny sent you. Capiche? Breakable 9, this is Nervous Rick. Do you say you got your ears on? That's a big 10-4, go ahead. Well, I got a load of school supplies coming your way. I got the hammer down and they're in a smoky inside. You say you have a load of school supplies? That's a big 10-4. I got erasers, pencils, notebooks, mirrors, everything, you name it. You wouldn't happen to have any water on that rig, would you? We have some thirsty kids out here. I got a whole pallet full of ice cold water. Uh oh, not again. Break, break, DSA. Um, I'm gonna be a little delayed, but I'll make it before the first bell. Come to the school store at DSA, Tuesdays and Thursdays, before the first bell. does exercise actually improve your mood and make you feel better? The answer is endorphins. They are powerful little hormones that are produced in the brain and act as the body's own natural painkillers. During exercise, there is a release of endorphins in the body that are capable of making you feel great. It doesn't matter what the activity is, whether it's running, roller skating, or dancing. In my opinion, the more fun, the better. Hey, do you think endorphins are contagious? Just kidding. I know you're thinking that all of the endorphins must have made me go a little crazy in this video, but it was actually the $5 I made. <laughs> this is Ben signing off. This month's kitty character is kindness. Daddy always says kill him with kindness. There's a lot of people that I'm kind to. JK, LOL. Today's lunch is pizza or cold sandwich, corn, carrots, fruit freezy, milk, and of course my favorite, cookies. Hi, I'm Ad Apps, and I'm here to show you some educational apps for your mobile devices. Today I have an iPad. The first app I'm going to show you is 101 Science. You can have general science, biology, physics, earth science, and chemistry. Next, we have the app Planets. Planets shows you the constellations, a compass, the planets, and their visibility. You can adjust this so you can see where you are on the map. The next app is the Constitution app. This shows you all of the articles and the amendments in the Constitution, as well as the signers. Next favorite 
is iFlashcards free. This shows you how to make your own flashcards and review them. Now the last one is for all you math geeks. It's called Math Drills Light. It shows you addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division problems. Now that was just a little bit of my favorite apps for education on your mobile devices. Now remember, I'm at Apps. See you in the technology world. It's Monday, kids, and I'm your host, Ben. I have some important announcements for you today. First of all, the book fair starts today. And you might want to start getting on your Christmas shopping because here's a book that's on everyone's list. Flawed Dogs. Isn't that right, Dora? Okay. Creativity is what it's all about. Don't forget to turn in your Space Camp applications by November 12th. Remember, you must be nine years of age. Now, I don't know how many years that is in dog years. Do you know, Dora? Anyway, you must be at least nine years of age in people years. That about covers it for today, Dora. Except for, it's Red Ribbon Week. My name is Ben. I give good hugs, but I'm not your friend if you do drugs. Here's Miss Nigro with the 411. Looking for that special gift? Well, come to Polka Dots and Company where they specialize in making your gifts personal. Polka Dots and Company is a monogram and gift shop where they have baby items, jewelry, lunch boxes, backpacks, and hold on ladies, Vera Bradley. This is my pattern. Have you ever wondered how monogramming works? Well, here's how it's done. Okay, so you see how I've put your name here already, and I'm going to save it to this disk here. So then I communicate the disk to the machine, and I find Ben's name on here, and then I just hit start. Come to Polka Dots and tell them Ben sent you. Good morning, I'm Ben, coming to you from the Haines City Mickey D's. Some of you have been waiting for this announcement about the Swing Club. I want to put on my boogie shoes. Here's my buddy Hezzy talking about pop water football. Go on, Hezzy. Good, clean, fun. Go Ridge Lightning. Here's Cole and Elena with this month's Key 2 character. I've lost all control. You guys have to try the pumpkin pie shake here. Uh, maybe after lunch. Your lunch choices today are... Stay tuned for this week's Spy Cam. Good morning. I'm Ben. I'm here at the White House. Do you know what the Constitution is? Let me break it down for you. The basics. A law is a set of rules that we live by. The Constitution is the highest law of all. It belongs to the United States and it belongs to all Americans too. The Constitution says how the government works. It creates the Presidency, Congress, and the Supreme Court. Are you with me so far? The Constitution is over 200 years old. In 1787, a group of men called the Framers did not like how the country was going. So they had a big meeting and the Constitution was created. Maybe you've heard of some of these Framers. Have you ever heard of George Washington or Ben Franklin? These guys were cranky and they could not agree on anything. So they asked the states to okay on the decisions they made. 
In order to protect the rights of people, a Bill of Rights was added. Because of the Bill of Rights, you can think for yourself. You have the freedom of religion, and it allows you to gather with your friends and just talk freely. It also allows you to read what other people write. The Bill of Rights protects us. The Constitution is not perfect, but the Founding Fathers were smart enough to know that it would have to be changed sometimes. And the changes to our Constitution are called amendments. To all you patriots out there, this has been Ben Wilmoth, DDN Junior Correspondent. For more, go to www.history.com. Happy Holidays, everyone. Can you believe that it's almost Christmas? <laughs> FYI, if you're wanting to buy everything that's on the 12 Days of Christmas song, then you'll need about $100,000. There are 364 items repeated from 12 drummers drumming to a partridge in a pear tree. And if you want to buy the whole loot, eh, it's going to cost you. This is up from 10.8% last year. Abby has more shopping news. I'm hoping to find a Snuggie under the tree, or maybe a ShamWow. As seen on TV is a great store. Caitlin asked you, out there in TV land, what you want for Christmas. Thanks, Caitlin. Tonight is Space Night and the Lakeland Christmas Parade. The forecast for today is sunny and cold with an overnight low of 39 degrees Fahrenheit. So steel drummers better break out the hand warmers Make sure to come out and support our school. Our lunch today is brought to you by Christian. Sounds yummy. Have a fantastic day. Here's what's on the spy cam.